had a rational market, marketplace for mm -hmm. foods, uh -huh. things that are grown within 20 miles and don't need any processing at all. Mm -hmm. They just go from farm to the store, we buy them. That would be fruits and vegetables. But all of this stuff that starts by being grown hundreds of miles away, and then it goes to a company that then fries it, and then packages it, and then has to ship it to the store, so it goes through six steps before it ever gets to the store. And all those people take profit, mm. but it's still cheap to buy. Yeah. It's because the government makes it artificially cheap. Is good or bad? Bad. If government doesn't give the people... No, they're not giving it to the people. Give the farmer <laughs> uh, money. Mm -hmm. The farmer will be sell very expensive uh, yes. carbohydrates food. Not very expensive, but it would be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, that's poor people. Well, it's wait, but getting worse. Well, what the government should be putting the money into, they should take it away from wheat and rice and corn and potatoes, mm -hmm. and they should give the money to people that grow fruits and vegetables. If the farmer in a thousand miles away mm -hmm. had to get his product to our store here, mm -hmm. he couldn't get it here. Why? Uh, not, it would, you know, it would take more, uh, even more money to transport it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes, what I'm saying is take the money away from the people who grow carbohydrates mm -hmm. and give it to the people who grow fruits and vegetables nearby. Yeah. You only get the money mm -hmm. if you sell the product mm -hmm. within, let's say, 200 miles. But you know, a lot of people doesn't like eat vegetables. They're, not, that... used to, they're not used to it. Mm -hmm. 100 years ago, 150 years ago, they did. They liked fruits and vegetables. But if you government really, really do that things, maybe people, a lot of people feel hungry, starving. It doesn't all have to happen overnight. Mm. You say that we'll, we'll move 10%. We'll take 10% away from the carbohydrate farmers and give that mm. money to the fruit and vegetable growers. Mm -hmm. And then next year we, we do 20%. And then the next year we do 30%. Mm -hmm. So that it, it takes a decade mm -hmm. to completely shift over. I mean, mm -hmm. when, when most people go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. they only buy three, four, five, six types of fruits and vegetables because that's what they're used to. Yeah. You know, when we go into... Vons, it's not a giant selection of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Because Americans only think in terms of the things they already know. They're not used to trying something new in terms of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now, if it comes in a pretty package Aww. with bright colors, they'll Aww. try it. Yeah, <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> we've, been, we've been trained to respond to the packages. Yeah. And we think that uh, we think that apples have to be three times as big as that, mm -hmm. and it has to be perfectly red all the way around to be a good apple. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Mm -hmm. So we breed them to be big and red, but not necessarily taste very good. There's so many different kinds of apples. Mm -hmm. You could eat a different kind of apple every week and never, you know, never eat the same kind of apple any two weeks in a row until you start the year over again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there are 20 or 30 different kinds of potatoes, oh. even though that's a carbohydrate. Yeah. Americans okay. only think in terms of golden russet potatoes. <laughs> yeah. That's all they know. And that includes me. 
but there's a, there, there's two dozen types of potatoes in the world mm -hmm. with slightly different flavor and texture and different vitamins and all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, when it comes to oranges, mm -hmm. look at how these all look the same. Because Americans think if it doesn't all look exactly the same, a lot of Americans would look at that and go, oh, it's bad. No, it's not a bad orange. It's just natural. Oh. We have been taught. Tricky, right? Tricky? No. Americans are picky. Picky. Yeah. What well, we have been taught mm -hmm. to rely on our eyes mm -hmm. because of packaging. So like I say, the color of the apples, they all have to be the same. Mm -hmm. the, the color of the oranges mm -hmm. all has to be exactly the same. The tomatoes you bought, all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. and, and that's because we've been taught to rely on packages mm -hmm. rather than try something new and see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of the reasons I like going with you to 99 Ranch is that you always show me a fruit or vegetable, like, what is this? I don't know this. What is that good for? <laughs> he likes it. And you grab something. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I get to find out what this is. That's oh. cool. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you know, Americans think that all apples should look like one particular apple. Oh. And all tomatoes should look exactly the same, and all oh. oranges, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah. Because we've been taught to rely on the advertising. Mm -hmm. If we were taught, you know, when I worked in the grocery store when mm -hmm. I was in college, mm -hmm. I worked in the meat market. Mm -hmm. Anytime we had something new in the meat market, mm -hmm. especially fish, Mm -hmm. Most people in Texas didn't know much about fish. Mm -hmm. So when we had a new type of fish, mm -hmm. the boss would tell me, go fry some up and hand it out to people. Oh. And so just like the samples in Costco, mm -hmm. I would be out there deep frying fish because it was the easiest way to do on a little table. Mm. And a couple of packages of the fish, and I'd show them, look, these are right over there. It's on special for two ninety nine or whatever the price was. Oh. But they would walk up and say, what is, what, what is this? We didn't do samples of the things they saw every week. Mm -hmm. We did samples of the things that were new. Yeah. And they go, oh, what is this? Oh, that tastes good. Oh, it's <laughs> on special. Okay, I'll buy some of that. <laughs> so. It didn't have to be fancy packages. Mm. But by giving them a taste and encouraging them to try something new, we sold a bunch. Mm -hmm. And they got to try something they never had before. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for talking a lot. <laughs> Fat food by government.